Here's a little overview of the SRT8 headers that I put on my car, the short, basically stock shorties. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an underview of the car. We're gonna look at my mid pipes. And you're gonna look at the SRT8 shorties. I haven't seen any videos of installations of these yet. But as you can see how tight it is when you're trying to install these headers. So, all right, here we go. We're gonna go under the car. All right, so now we're have an under view of the car. I still have to put the cat back on it. That'll be tomorrow. So here's the stock SRT8 mids. And then you can see the SRT8 clamshell up there. And guys, I recommend if you're gonna get the SRT8 headers, Go with the six fours because they have the O2 bone in them already, so you don't have to buy any extensions. I don't have any extensions on on these headers as far as the O2 sensors. And with the six one six four exhaust manifold, or I'm sorry, the six one six four uh, mid pipes, you already got the extra bone there for when you want to do the wideband O2 sensor. So it is, this works out great. But I'm going to tell you right now, these uh, SRT8 shorty headers are a pain in the ass to put in. It, it is not fun uh, because of the clamshell. So, so just to give you a little picture and a little view of what, what it looks like in there and how I worked under the car. So you guys can see. I've got my car sitting up on a set of Rhino ramps. And I had plenty of room to work with. You know, I see, you know, if you look, you can see the, I've got a uh, dumbbell supporting it so it didn't slide. They slid on my floors, but they worked out great. They didn't crush, like some people have issues with them crushing. And uh, I had plenty enough room to work under my car. For the few hours that it took me to do this um, you can do this by yourself so again it's not easy but it can be done so, there's the underview of the car all right pictured here is the stock 6.4 srt8 header got you here's the stock exhaust manifolds off the car and then you can compare them to the SRT8 shorty headers <clears throat> and then here's the this is what car, that's the heat shield for the header and then here's the stock the stock actual gasket I didn't use the stock gasket I used the um, SRT8 Six one gasket off a 2010 Challenger SRT8. Part number for that one, and then the other part number instead of 98 AA at the end is a 99 AA. So, and then here are the stock. Challenger bolts for the 61 SRT8 Challenger. <clears throat> you buy if you buy those, they already come with a um, not an anti seize, but a uh, like a thread locker. It's a yellow thread locker, so it's heat activated. So when the car heats up it will keep the threads from backing out on you. So I bought 16 of them. I only needed 15 because I used one of the stock RT bolts. Pictured here. Excuse a little shaking of the camera. And then use one of the other bolts for your dipstick spacer. So, what I did is I went to Lowe's 
and bought a spacer. Here's the part number for the spacer. That's exactly what spacer I used, and I didn't have to bend the dipstick whatsoever. I'll show you, as you can see, it fits perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. And fits perfect. Slid right in, bolted right up, no issues. So. Alright guys, this is basically how you do the SRT8 Shorty install. car and like some of the information I've given you there's gonna be a lot more to come um, like subscribe to my channel and uh, there's definitely gonna be a lot of information coming so uh, I'm out